now, News 19 Sports Overtime. In most cases, it's a good thing to share, but when it comes to winning a conference title, it's okay to be a little selfish. Alaska wants to be selfish tonight. They met Holman in the regular season finale with MVC title implications. Let's check in with Declan Levy to see how things turned out. Declan? Yes, yeah, Scott, here's what's at stake. An Alaska win, and they win the title outright. If Holman wins, it ends in a three-way tie with Sparta. Now some high stakes football in the regular season finale at Onalaska. The first half was all defense. Both teams struggling to gain much of anything. And just after the half, yeah, it's three to three. Now the second half was a bit different. Onalaska QB Austin Larson did a nice job on the ground. He finished the night with 71 yards, but the first touchdown of the night was with his arm from the 12 yard line. Larson to Landon Peterson in the corner. Hilltoppers get their first lead of the night and the Hilltoppers D was ferocious tonight. The Vikings struggled to do much in the air and, really, and relied heavy on the run. And that's a loose ball scooped up by Jess Ondel. Now the Hilltoppers now looking to capitalize and they will the very next play. Nathan Lubinsky runs 12 yards and extends the lead. Hilltoppers 17 to three. Now Holman isn't gonna quit here. This is for the MVC and Cameron Weber dishes it to Jaden Abraham and the Vikings are driving. Abraham punches it in for the score, but that will not be enough as the Hilltoppers, your MVC champs, they win 17 to 10 and, and here they are. Our defense is doing a great job, uh, all front seven. Uh, John Bushman, our defensive coordinator, does a great job by all. <laughs> Keep the ball away from them and just time of possession and get the points where we can. They're a great defense and we had to take shots when we could. Yeah, we're looking for big things. We want to be playing deep into November. Scooter, there it is, your MVC champs. They'll be looking to do a lot into the playoffs. All right, be interesting to see where they end up in the playoff seeding. We'll have that for you tomorrow. All right, another game with playoff implications is Central at West Salem. Central needs a win over the last place Panthers to become playoff eligible. But a tough season for West Salem, winless coming into this one. Second quarter, Central up 6-0. West Salem's Noah LaFleur dropping back to throw. Davis Latos, what a sensational catch, one-handed. Down to the three-yard line, and that set up Theric Roberts, who blasts his way into the end zone. West Salem is up 7-6. to six. Central has it now. Johnny Davis rolling out. He's going to fire downfield and find Porter Protesky. He's got it into the end zone. 13 yards. Central retakes the lead, 12-7. Third quarter, Panthers up 13-12. Driving down the field, the ball is fumbled. Andrew Teff scoops it up, and he's going the other way. And that makes it 18-13. Teff did that twice on the night. But West Salem wasn't done. Zach Hutchinson at, in a quarterback, and he's going to loft one up to Lato. So had a terrific game tonight in traffic among three players. He takes it and scores. 19-18, West Salem out in front. But Central with a late touchdown with 41 seconds ends up winning this one. 26-25, Red Raiders are playoff eligible. Let's head to Swanson Field. Logan hosting Toma, season finale for both. First quarter action, Toma's Justin Gerke faking the handoff and then gets drilled as he's trying to throw. The ball loose and Logan's Timmy Kemp hops on it. The Rangers are in business. Next play, Josh Waite dumps off the screen to Max Harsey. Harsey with a nifty bit of running. He's going to take this one all the way down to the Toma 20-yard line before he's finally brought down. But Logan would not score on that drive. Second quarter, though, still no score. Logan with it at the three. Harsey takes it. He scores this time. Bangs it in. Rangers go on to win this one. 30 to 7 the final. Aquinas already playoff eligible for the first time since 2012. Blue Gulls hosting Luther tonight. First possession, Aquinas on the move. Inside handoff to Will Cambio. Cambio bobbing and weaving his way through traffic into the end zone. 16 yards, 6 0 Aquinas. Second quarter, Blue Gulls down at the one. This time it's Matthew Reutemann plunging his way in. 12 0 Aquinas in control. Later in the second, Luther on the move, but facing a fourth down in Blue Gold's territory. Christian Welm trying to find a receiver, but he's sacked by Taylor Service. That ends the scoring threat. Final play of the half. Aquinas on the 22. The only thing to do, just chuck it to the end zone. But this one is picked off by Brandon Statler. Blue Gold's come away with nothing, but they had plenty in the second half. End up winning 39 to nothing. Cambio with three touchdowns. We need to take a short time out. When we return, we'll head to Galesville, Arcadia, Viroqua, and more. Sports Overtime in a smidge. Sports Overtime in the News 19 10 p.m. Sports Report. Brought to you each week by Moray's Automotive Group of Lacrosse, Ultra Federal Credit Union, and by Menards.